Hello, my fellow wholehearted warriors. Welcome to Hanging with Hang and my special yes, baby Yoda. My bias. Today, I'm going to share with you my take on one way love. Uh, for those of you who are in the situation where you wholeheartedly love somebody or fall in love with somebody and they're not loving you back the same way, this video is perfect for you. I'm going to share with you my perspective on it. Now, those of you who are in that situation, I am sorry because it sucks. It's painful. Uh, what you're sitting with is <clears throat> a deep pain of uh, self-rejections right, of uh, rejection, disappointment, heartbroken, jaded, you name it, you know, and most of the time it's bring out like I'm not good enough things, uh, to bring, bring out your self insecurity, right. Uh, I've been blessed by the universe that over the last three years I've been put in situation where I'm constantly um, in that dynamic where the love was just one way. And I think the universe is trying to help me to learn something. And I think I kind of figure it out. So I want to share with you. And what I've learned is, is how to bring that love back to yourself. So if I can share this by helping you accelerate your process, by minimize the pain, that'd be great. I'm going to share with you some of the key points that I've learned over the years, especially the last three years. So here are the four simple things, my friend. So first, to shift this pain is to acknowledge um, this soul connection that you have instead of why the f this happening to me and why da 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 da. You know, in that, you you get to choose. You get to choose. This could be a gift. And one of the things I look at it this way. You know, if you like movie, you have the character in the movie, right? And you have the actor who play the character, and you have the director directing the whole shows. So in this situation, you, you can choose. I mean, when you're in it, it's easy to say that you're the, the actor, the character. I'm the character of being heartbroken, of loving one way. Or you could choose as an actor, you could choose to be in this character. And if you don't like it, you can just change character, right? So there's more power and choice to you. On the third situation is as a director. So let's say if you're directing this whole show, uh, show and you chose for this person to come in at this particular time to play this particular role and to act a certain way for you, what would be the purpose behind it? Maybe something there for you, right? For me personally, all of these characters that I brought in, I cast them and they play so perfectly because they help me bring me back to myself to a whole new level. I get to experience self-love to a whole new level that I would not have, uh, you know, embodying not only the theory. So that's the first thing. The second thing, which leads to the next point, which I just talked previously, is use this opportunity to bring the love back to yourself. Because when you're in this situation, you're gonna be, um, you wanna put that person in front of you. Right, being wholehearted, we wanna give everything we got. This person is a priority. And don't get me wrong here. I think, I personally think that is a beauty to put somebody else in front of you, to love somebody, uh, to love somebody more than you love yourself. I think there's just something so selfless about it. But at the same time, it's only nice when it's the right persons and when there's a balance in the game. But if you're in this situation, probably there's no balance. So it's just one way out. There's nothing go back in. So chances are, is you loving yourself through this person. So look at what is the characteristic about this person that you infatuate about or you fall in love with this? What is, what is it that you projecting? And chances are those are the very same characteristic that you have been seeking within yourself that you have not tapped in or bring it out or acknowledge within yourself. So try to bring that love back and try to really accept that within yourself and bring containment within yourself, my friend. You're gonna be experiencing self-love to a whole new level because you are lovable and you are good enough. And when you're in this dynamic, it's so easy for you to feel insecure, for you to feel like, oh my God, I'm not good enough, I'm not. No, so let me stop you right there and remind that you are lovable and you are good enough and you are beautiful as is. It's just that person is not the right fit for you right now. And it's okay. You go into the process to be one step closer to the right person. So really own who you are. Own your need and take a stand for your heart, my friend. Don't just shut down. Okay, so which is take to the next step. So we have soul recognitions, right? We have bring the love back to yourself. 
The next step is to be with each moment and to connect to reality. Because one of the one of the best gifts you can do for yourself is to connect to reality. That you know what, I am this amazing person, and maybe that person is not as amazing as I project to be. Because when you fall in love, that usually happens, right? So you disconnect the reality. You put that person on a pedestal, and then you get disappointed, and then the pedestal collapses. You know, I've been there many times myself. After I got out of the situation, I was like, holy crap, that person is not what I thought that, that person was at all. So maybe there's a gift in that. And how do you do that? Constantly check in of how you feel and connect into your reality. Because one of the best gifts you can do during this time is to come back to you owning who you are, owning what you actually feel, and owning what you actually need, and honoring that need, and take a stand for your heart, my friend. Which take to the last point is number four, is as a wholehearted warrior, you do everything full out. You give everything, right? And when you're in this situation, it's very easy to for your heart to be jaded, but for your heart to be painful as human nature, it's easy for us to shrink in. So I'm here to remind you, even in that, lean in. This is why I'm making a video right here. Besides the fact that I love Baby Yoda, right? And lean in, meaning that you gotta lean into yourself fully, leaning into who you are, and leaning and loving fully. Because by you leaning in, by you leaning in, that's the only way you find out if that person is a right fit for you, if they can receive you fully. So don't be shy in the process. Understanding that, yeah, as a wholehearted, you, when you lean in fully, if that person not right for you, it's gonna be painful. And, and that pain only temporary. Don't let, don't let that stop you from being who you are, please. Because who you are is so beautiful and it's so wonderful. And, and I think there's a beauty to just be a wholehearted. And if you're doing this, you just shut off a part of yourself. And that doesn't do anybody any good. So I want to wrap up this video by reminding you, my friend, that you are beautiful. Your heart is beautiful. Continue to lean in and be all the way. Let the force be with you and let the love be with you. I'm sending you a lot of love from my heart to yours. 